Hello again chaps and chapettes, how are we all doing? It's lovely to see you all again as always. First and foremost guys, I want to thank you all, each individually, for subscribing to my channel. You've managed to uh, drag me over this 100 subscriber landmark and I couldn't be more chuffed. At the time of recording, I'm sat on 107 subscribers and I'm absolutely thrilled. So, thanks very much for sticking around. Please do feel free to stick around some more, because there's more to come from me in the near future. Thanks again. So, today's video guys, I want to talk to you about Dan Wotton and what's been going on with him recently. Now in case you don't know who Dan Wotton is, he's an ex-presenter on GB News. He used to have his own show over there called Dan Wotton Tonight. And on one of his shows, he had Lawrence Fox as one of his guests to talk about someone called Ava Evans. Here's a quick clip to refresh your memory. We're past the watershed, so I can say this. Um, show me a single self-respecting man that would like to climb into bed with that woman ever. Ever. Who wasn't an incel. Who wasn't a cucked little incel. That little woman has been fed, spoon-fed oppression day after day after day after day, starting with the lie of the gender uh, uh, wage gap. And she sat there and I'm going like, if I met you in a bar and that was like sentence three, chances of me just walking away are just huge. We need powerful, strong, amazing women who make great points for themselves. We don't need these sort of feminist 4.0. They're pathetic and embarrassing. Who'd want to shag that? Oh, Lawrence. Well, look, she... <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. I'm, I, I'm... And that was basically it, guys. All this hoo-ha, all this screeching, all this screaming, all these cries of misogyny was all down to that one comment. Did Lawrence Fox deserve to get his P45 for that? No, I don't think he did. Was it misplaced? Yes, I think it was. It's something you reserve for your mates down the pub. But let's put this into context a little bit, guys. This Ava Evans, not too long prior, she disregarded the rate of young men committing suicide. Just tossed it off like a, a used Kleenex. Just whoosh, not asked, not bothered could not give one solitary shit. Now, in comparison, what Lawrence Fox said was child's play, if you ask me. So, Lawrence Fox got the boot, even though GB News knew what he was like, knew he was outspoken, but they still hired him anyway. Dan Wotton also got suspended for giggling. Oh, Lawrence, well, look, she... <laughs> having a little chuckle at that said comment. Did he deserve to lose his job? Absolutely not. Suspended, ultimately lost his job. Out the door. And last but not least, poor Calvin Robinson. The, the most loveliest man, humblest man I've ever come across. I've not got one single thing, one single bad thing to say about Calvin Robinson. And he got the hoof as well. Why? For speaking up for his co-workers. Simple as that. He went to social media and spoke up Lawrence Fox and Dan Wotton, like a good, honest Christian that he is. A lovely, lovely man. Got the boot for simply speaking up for them because of misogynistic comments. It makes me sick, guys. It really does. So anyway, instead of blabbing on about all that, you probably know all about all that anyway. What's been happening to Dan Wotton recently? Well, a lefty shit rag called Byline Times has been putting out some slanderous um, articles about Dan. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I can't find the article. Byline Times must have taken it down by now. They were accusing Dan of having some kind of lewd photos in hiding and blackmailing people with them. Do correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what was being said. And, obviously, all this has come out in the wash. And Dan Wotton has come out clean. No further action. Police, no evidence. So, what he's doing now, he's getting a crack team of uh, solicitors, legal team, whatever you want to call it. And he's going after Byline Times. The horrible, lefty shit rag. And so they should. These slanderous remarks about Dan Wotton have led to some serious abuse online. I've seen some of his Twitter replies. Some people have called him a paedophile, a rapist nonce all sorts of fucking horrible things now 
No matter how thick-skinned you are, that has got to get to you after a while. So, he deserves everything he can get from these people. He's even suing Carol Vorderman as well. That nasty, horrible, vindictive bleep. I hope she gets her ass sued. She is the nastiest woman I've come across on Twitter. Thank heavens she's blocked me. <laughs> no idea why. I'm a good boy. But yeah, I've been blocked by her. So anyway, recently, apart from that, he's uh, started up his new platform. Uh, Dan Wooten Outspoken, I think it's called. I'll stick a link in the description. Pop on over and yeah, show your uh, support to him if you can afford it and if you want to. Ideally, I'd like to, but I've got a shit ton of, <laughs> of money coming out of my bank through subscriptions to independent medias. I've got Redman TV, it's a Liverpool fan channel. I've got Lotus Eaters, I've got 2C TV, I've, <laughs> I've got shit ton. So if I put any more on, my missus is going to go mad, I think. So yeah, do go on and check him over, show him your support, give him your love, because uh, despite what anybody says about him, I like Dan Wharton. That's me lot, guys. Thanks once again for the subs. Please do carry on. Please do stick around. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.